guys. So today's going to be a little studio space bookcase tour. I just finished decorating my studio with all my favorite things and it's going to pretty much be my background in every video. So I just thought I'd share what is on my bookcase, which is my favorite part of my studio. And the items on my bookcase will change from time to time as I start using things up and I start trying new brands. But I just thought I'd show you what it looks like right now. And this video is also going to contain information about a giveaway that I have uh, that is current on my blog. So I'll give you instructions on how to enter that as well. Um, so my bookcase is black. I'll give you a quick overview of what it looks like. I have two white baskets up top that hold extras, uh, tissue boxes, larger boxes, palettes that I'm not currently using but would like to keep. So I'll give you a little overview of the entire bookcase and then I'll tell you what I have on it and what I use things for. So that is the entire thing. Let's start with the first area on my bookcase. I have a flower from my garden. Um, it's not looking so hot right now. I may have to change it out soon. And I have three uh, Healthy Sexy Hair products. I'll zoom you in a little bit closer. The Healthy line is definitely my favorite line from Sexy Hair. I have the Argon Oil, which I've actually talked about on my blog. Um, I used to buy Moroccan oil, but um, I no longer do because this is just as good, if not better. What I love about Moroccan oil is that it dries your hair quicker. There's some sort of component in there that helps your hair dry a lot quicker. So it's nice if you don't want to blow dry your hair all the time. It makes your hair a little bit um, less dry. And then the um, Argon hairspray is my favorite and this is their beach spray. It's kind of like a texturizing spray and I really, really like that as well. And then right in here I have my collection of uh, Bare Minerals lipsticks and I have uh, quite a few of them if not all of them in the line and if you're interested in all the names I can go through and tell you guys what they're all called. Um, right next to that I have a little mint tin. This is from Bath and Body Works. It's empty but I do fill it up with Altoids and take it with me. This is just a candle tin. There's a little tea light in there. Um, and this is just a very ornate frame that I put pretty paper in and I keep statement necklaces on here for display. So they're necklaces that I wear, but um, so I switch them out as I'm wearing them. Um, right next to that I have, this is a cell phone carrier from Solaris. It's from the Ellen Blair line. It's really handy. It fits your phone and some cards and maybe like a lip balm and it has a little uh, chain so you can take it with you so it's kind of cute and I keep it up here it's easy to grab and go and then behind that I have um, a Mishar clutch and these clutches are absolutely gorgeous I have another one in green as well this is the one that's on display right now and um, that clutch I love for when I have an event to go to and it's a nighttime event and um, it holds enough and it's really really beautiful. Okay, the second um, little area that I have is uh, right down here and that's a little overview of it. So starting from the left these are napkin holders at Ikea. They're currently holding some of my palettes and so it stores them very well and it holds them upright so I can see them and I can use them. This Sephora bag is full of perfume samples that I haven't used up yet. Um, back here is my September issue of InStyle and I'm keeping this around because I want to uh, duplicate the cover look that Drew Barrymore was wearing, um, including the hair. I really like the hair look for this one. and I love the red, the deep red lip and the really simple eye. So I was thinking about doing a tutorial for that. And then um, down here I have uh, a pair of earrings. These are just Forever 21 and they're little turquoise drops and I tend to wear these a lot. Here I have a really beautiful branch necklace. Um, I'm sorry I had something sitting right here and it looks like it rubbed off. But I have a really pretty branch necklace right here. Goes with everything. Isn't it gorgeous? And that is from uh, Shop Jamie 
and um, this is a product that I'm currently trying. It's called Immortel, and it is an anti-aging blend. It's an oil, and it's on a roller ball, which I really love. And uh, so I'm currently trying that product, and I kept the box. Um, these are some white sunnies that I just have up here, easy for grab and go. Right here I have some of my brushes that I use and a pair of earrings dangling from that. And uh, inside I just put I just put some really pretty turquoise glass. I don't know if you guys can see um, to stand my brushes up. And that, this would be a super simple, super fun DIY. Uh, this candle that I currently have in here, I haven't burnt it yet because I just got it. It is, it's called Harvest Gathering and it smells really good. It's crisp, it's very fall at the same time. And then this is a little uh, DIY earring and ring holder from just a little picture frame from Ikea. It's like a little dollar picture frame. I have a tutorial on my blog for that actually uh, on how to get the same look. And um, I have the current H&M fall magazine back there. Um, really beautiful items for fall. So I had, there's a couple of things in there that I still wanna get, so I kept it. And then this is just a little lantern, a little white lantern, and it holds a little tea light. Um, for a little ambiance during my videos, I do let, I'm a candle fanatic. I love, love, love to burn candles, so. And now we're going down a little bit further. So this is the center area. Here are the giveaway items that I wanted to talk to you about. These are from Shop Jamie. So there is an, a really beautiful arrow necklace. There's little arrow earrings. And then these are the little bracelets. They're so adorable, it's ridiculous. And I'm going to just show you what your color choices are because you do get to pick your colors. So the winner, the winner to the giveaway gets to pick their colors. And these are the three colors that you can choose from. They have a really beautiful turquoise. They have a gray and they have a pink. And so you get to pick what color is your favorite, but you're going to get three bangles. If you want them all the same color, that's fine. If you want to change it up, that's fine too. And then this is the necklace. Um, mine is turquoise. And then my earrings are pink, so it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. But the detail on these is be these are really beautiful pieces of jewelry. These are not going to fall apart on you. They are 14 karat um, plated. I'm just going to try and show you the detail on that. See, it has a lot of encrusted bling on it. It's just so pretty. This is my favorite color right now. It's the turquoise. But I will say, the gray goes with everything. So you can't go wrong if you decide to pick the gray. Just gorgeous. And also has a lot of really beautiful bling on it. So these pieces are just really, really pretty. I'll have more pictures on my blog as well. Link to my blog is on my main page. And you can just go straight to my blog. And um, there'll be instructions there on how to enter. Um, so moving along with this center area, these are my Bare Minerals Moxie uh, lip glosses that I own. I don't know if I own all of them, but I have quite a few of their colors. Um, as you can see, I have quite a collection. So, um, And then back behind that is um, just a little frame from Ikea that I put pretty paper in again. And I like to dangle my necklaces from it. Eventually, I think I'm going to actually add some like little grommets or uh, something to hang my necklaces off of and just suspend it. This is a great way to store your necklaces. Um, so I'm looking into possibly doing something like that. On this side here in this basket, I have extra magazines that I'm currently reading and I have my makeup bags. I like to switch out my makeup bags so they don't get ruined, especially if I like them and they're really cute. These two are from Ipsy. I have my stress spray. A pair of earrings. This is great because you can dangle lots of earrings from here for storage. I have um, this is this stress spray is from Bath and Body Works, and it smells really lovely. And then I have some eye products, extra eye products. And then okay, moving on to this next shelf, I have a little tray here, and on this little tray I have some of my perfumes that I like to alternate. Some of these are ones that I use every day. Um, 
Some of them are a little bit more summer fragrances, and I'm now switching to fall fragrances. I think I'm going to do a top five fall fragrance video um, because I do love fragrance so much. I figured I would share what I love. The book in the background is a storage book. It gives ideas on storage. And then we can take a little bit of a closer look on the tray. I have these Pacifica solid perfumes on this tray, and I am... I have a blog post coming up on these solid perfumes and I'm also going to do a video on how to apply solid perfumes and uh, where to apply them. And some of my um, more used uh, nail polishes are also in here. I like to keep them in this little jar, that way I can see them whenever I want. I have a big nail polish collection. Speaking of nail polish, a lot of my fall polishes are sitting right here and what I did is I couldn't find an organizer for this bookcase I was having a really hard time so what I did is I picked up a I think this is basically like a spice rack uh, maybe even for canned goods for like your cupboards in the kitchen and I wrapped it in paper pretty paper because uh, the slats were too large and so the polishes kept falling through the slats. So this allows me to keep a pretty good amount of polishes out for me to look at so, um, so that I can pick my colors and that's what it looks like from the side. So I suppose I could have covered the side if I wanted to but I didn't really feel it, it was necessary. Um, I just wanted something to allow me to see all of my polishes quickly and um, this can also be switched out seasonally. So right now I have colors more that I would be leaning towards for uh, fall and winter on here. But when the seasons change, you can just put these colors away and add different colors. And I'll show you where I keep my other colors too. That little area is coming up next. So down here I keep my nail care items in this bin and in these two smaller bins. Um, and this center area here holds my gel light. I just have an at-home gel kit. That's how I am able to keep my nails growing and um, healthy because I have very, very brittle nails. So I do my own gel at home, and so um, I keep all of my equipment for that in this box. This also holds my extra, um, my extra cotton pads, um, cleaners. I have like little things that aren't really boxes, like any of the Sally Hansen nail effects and um, dotting tools. This is where I keep my dotting tools in here. Um, I keep extra files in here, toe, toe separators. Um, so it's a very functional little area. And so over here I have more polishes in this black box. This is it though, this is all I have. So what's in this box and what you guys saw up here, that's my polish collection. I just went through and pared it down. So I keep all of my, right now I have all my summer, spring colors in this box and then this box up here is um, a bare minerals box where I keep some of my extra, my backups um, for my bare minerals. And then I have some decorative books here and I have um, some art books, uh, painting, stamping. Um, this one's really fun, it's called Doing Up Old Junk and it's about just taking like street side finds or uh, thrift store finds and making them something spectacular and I kind of lean towards redoing old furniture. I love that. This bookcase that you're seeing is black now and it has um, a lot of pretty like wood detail but when I first got it it was just um, like a really ugly brown and it didn't have any detail on it at all. So I added all that and I painted it black and now it looks so cute in here. So um, anyway that is a complete overview of my little studio bookcase and uh so i hope you liked it thanks for watching have a good day bye